quite all set. So, as you know, automation helps to bring movement and modulation and all kind of Asians to your mix. <laughs> Modulate, uh, what the hell am I talking about, man? I'm talking about automation. All right, now Pro Tools has four automation modes. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. Well, I should say that the standard version of Pro Tools has four automation modes. There's a couple other automation modes, but we ain't gonna even get into those right now. Today, what we're gonna be focusing on is read, touch, latch, and write. And there's also off. <laughs> So whether you're looking in your mix window or your edit window, you have access to these automation mode selectors, all right? So right here in my edit window, if we look right up under my track view selector, right now I'm looking at my waveform view, right beneath that, this little section that says read, that is my automation mode selector. Now the default automation mode for Pro Tools is the read mode, all right? So read mode is selected. Let's go over to the mix window real quick. Here, under this section that says auto, read mode is selected again, auto read. So this is our automation mode selector in the mix window. And it works the same from either window, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna show you from the actual edit window because I want us to see how the automation is being recorded in. In order to see that, what we have to do is use our track view selector to change with, to whichever parameter, automation parameter we're gonna be uh, uh, doing at that time so let's say um, instead of waveform I'm going to change to my volume automation so I can see the volume automation graph for this track so the first thing that you want to do here is choose the automation mode in read mode no automation will be recorded so there's no risk of rewriting or overwriting your automation in read mode it will only read and play back the existing automation data that you've already recorded all right so what i want to do let's go ahead and start off in touch mode no actually you know what we're going to go to write mode first because i want to get this over with i do not like to use write mode Write mode is an automation mode that starts to record automation as soon as you hit play. You don't have to be recording. And for none of the automation modes, you don't have to uh, record anything. All you have to do is choose the right automation mode and hit play. But I don't like write mode because it'll start to record automation for all the parameters that you have enabled as soon as you hit play. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, when you go up to the automation window, and you just go up to the window menu and choose automation. You see that you have to actually enable automation, uh, enable certain parameters to be in uh, ready for automation. So um, right now I have all of my parameters enabled. If they're lit red, that means they're enabled. I like to keep them that way. But if you're using write mode, as soon as you hit play, it's going to record automation for every single one of these parameters, whether you change something or not. So that's why I stay away from write mode. But if you are using write mode, be sure to go up to the window menu, choose automation, and make sure that only the parameter that you are focusing on is enabled. Make sure that's the only one that's lit red when you're using write mode, all right? So I got my write mode enabled, and basically this is how this works. I'm going to also open up this little fader here so we can see it in the edit window. Cool. So I'm just going to play, and again, I'm on my automation playlist here. I'm just going to play the song. Again, no tracks have to be record enabled, or you don't have to be recording. As you see that red line cutting through my volume automation, that means I'm recording volume automation. Any changes that I make will be recorded. And it will continue to record the automation until I stop the playback. All right. Now, as soon as you stop uh, recording automation in write mode, Pro Tools will automatically switch you to either touch mode or latch mode, depending on the preferences that you have set. All right, right now you see it went to latch mode. Again, the reason it does that is because if you're in write mode, as soon as you hit play again to preview the automation that you just uh, recorded in, then it will rewrite that. So again, let's say I'm in write mode and I just hit play. 
all the automation data is going to be recorded over. If you want to play back your automation without the risk of recording over it, make sure you turn back to read mode using the automation mode selector in either the mix window, the edit window, or on a little pop-up fader. The next automation we'll talk about is touch mode, all right? So I like to use touch mode. Touch mode is probably my favorite mode because it does not start recording automation until you actually touch and modify the parameter, all right? This is how touch mode works. I can hit play on the record, and it's only going to read back my automation until I actually touch a fader or pan knob or whatever parameter it is that I'm automating and change it. So in touch mode, I'm just going to hit play. As you see, we're not recording any automation. Only when I actually grab this fader will we start to record automation. As soon as I release it, it stops recording that automation. So touch mode would be great for updating existing automation that you already have. Or if you just wanna add a little automation in a couple of spots, you can use touch mode to do that without, you know, risking recording over every type of automation that you're not even focusing on, all right? So that's touch mode. Again, it will only it will only uh, record the automation as you're actually touching and modifying that parameter. As soon as you release that parameter, the automation stops being recorded. The next automation mode we'll talk about is latch mode. Now, latch mode works a lot like touch mode the way that it starts recording the automation. The only difference between latch and touch is that once you release the parameter, Pro Tools will hold on to that last position before uh, and, and continue to record the automation until you stop the playback. So unlike touch mode, touch mode only while you're actually modifying will it record in latch mode, it won't start until you modify the parameter, but it'll latch onto that last position when you release it and continue to record automation at that point until you stop the playback. So again, no automation is being recorded. Only when I actually grab the fader. Whoops. <laughs> Now automation is being recorded and it's actually latched on to that last position and it's gonna hold it there. All right, and again, once you're done recording your automation, you can change this automation mode back to read to guarantee that you won't uh, overwrite any existing automation data. If you wanna preview your tracks without uh, the automation data, you can always change to off mode off mode will completely ignore all existing automation and you won't be able to write any new automation whenever your track is set to off mode, all right? Um, and if you don't like the automation, you can always just select those breakpoints and delete it. All right? And I'm just gonna change my track view selector back to waveform whenever I'm not working with automation. All right? Automation is a great tool in the studio. It's super dope to help bring your mixes to life and add a little extra pop and sparkle here and there, all right? Um, that's the Wavy Way tip of the day. If you like this video, be sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and keep being dope, all right?